we'll be on fire, we'll be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's yeah, going Madel, on? What's going with you? Hey, man. Another great day, man. Get you some rest last night. You you, you ready? <laughs> yes, you powered up for the day. Rest. We got a lot got going on today, rest. man. Yes, yes. You better have that game face on today, man. Hey, hey, we this just we just getting started, man. Uh, Check it, man. We got a special guest in the house today, y'all. Hey, I ain't playing with you, man. I listen to this guy's music, man. He woke me up, man. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there talking, but they ain't talking about nothing, man. Yeah. This brother right here, man. I had a few like that this weekend. It's a couple, and I, I wouldn't even compare them because it ain't. I, I don't play no games, man. Yeah. Aldi 300 is in the building, man. Honey. What's going on, man? Man, it's all good, man. Appreciate y'all. Say, man, me. check it, man. Uh, I just really want to say, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. Mm -hmm. Say, man, you are you doing your thing, man? And it's needed. A blessing. It's needed. Yeah. Our people need it. That's what they telling me. No, no, no. <laughs> Real talk. I, I, that's what I'm telling you. See, I got my opinion. I can give it to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And 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 I really, really like what you're doing. And when when Trill talked. Really called me about it, and I, I was like, okay. But then yeah. I started to key in on the things that were being said, n not only by when me and you talk, but just by the music, man. And, yeah. and, and and it's needed, bro. We need something that's going to tell us a story on how, how we can come out of our situations, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Man, it's been a long journey, but just I'm thankful for to even have the opportunity to be able to do it. Man, just, just, just going back a little bit, tell us a little bit where you're from. And uh, yeah. just for the for all the you know the people who might not know you know uh, give us a spill on where you how you how you came into all this just give us a and back how long ago you give started give us a backstory we need all our hell we like going that. all Every the way day. back we gonna mess man. with it okay we gonna yeah. really get into it yeah okay. I want know I want the people to know because somebody can grow and learn from this yeah. man it can help people that's what this about to know okay. how you started okay. where you started from and all of that man add D three hundred I'm from Longview Texas um, born there. Moved around a lot, ended up in Long Beach, California, came back, you know. Um, How did you end up in Long Beach, California? I, Why? I went to stay with my uncle a little bit out there, getting in trouble down here, you know. Um, At what age? That was 16. Okay. But California like has a lot of trouble, too. Um, yeah, but structure the okay. home structure okay. i was able to go out there and take a good look at that but um so did you have your mom and dad in your life here well my mom and my aunt and my grandma so my a lot dad of was females a lot of females not a, lot a of female females. structure no not a, so i went out there to be with my uncle for See, a little while so right that proves the fact that you always need a man to raise a son, a son. for sure yeah yeah um but I wasn't the only one in that situation as far as out of my, my homies, you know, so we, um, through our life, my best friend, Sae, a lot of people that was around, my little brother, we all helped each other because we all pretty much had that same situation okay. of not really having no father. father but figure. for me, um, uh, all of, I was, I wasn't the best child or whatever i was seeking the streets at an early age <clears throat> how old were you at that time i i've been active since 92 since since well since so i was 12 was 12 right okay. did you yeah. have siblings like other brothers i have one my first cousin he's because we was in the house together you know i call him my brother so he's the only uh but other than that he don't have no uh i don't have any brothers or sisters. So did he so go to child. California with you? No, he stayed. But he, he could have went, but he stayed. Mm -hmm. you know? okay. mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's funny because it, all of that happened. I was really heavily influenced by wanting to be in the streets, wanting to sell drugs, um, wanting to just be active, just wanting to be out there, you know, and uh, did it. And, you know, not, like I say, 12 years old, jumped out the porch, you know, 12 to uh, 16, active, doing everything to come with it, acting wild, crazy, you know? Even in California? Cali was where I learned, like, how you can really take it up a notch, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. as far as, like, with, right. you They're know. moving fast out there, right. like, when I was your age. No, 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 no. Slow no, down. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, think so, I mean, as far as, 
uh, for me, when I was living out there, because I was the same age, that's mm-hmm. what's so crazy about I'm just sitting there listening to you. Yeah. And for me to come from the sticks, I came from and you went the to sticks Vegas, right? and I moved to Vegas. Right. Okay. And, 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 and to see all those lights and to see all the stuff that was going on and then to be to introduced Vegas. to the right. bloods. There was bloods there too. Mm-hmm. Cars bur- getting burned up, gang banging happening. Right. It was something different for me at that time. It right. kind of took me from something that I had never, ever even thought about being anything mm-hmm. then bam you know I hadn't even watched you know back then it was, that was before colors and all that it was, right. I'm older yeah. so it was like dang these niggas I, I don't really know what, I, I was trying to register it all then I jumped you know into it with them and mm-hmm. fighting every day and banging with them and yeah yeah, yeah I got right with Vegas, it Vegas is, is different yeah. in, in the way that it had game yeah yeah kids didn't have game yeah. that's some Texas shit yeah in 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 Long Beach, they didn't have game. They didn't. They wasn't making money. They was really caught up in what they was doing. Uh, and you know, like my uncle, you said all the time, "Damn, Al know how to play cards, know how to, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, shoot dice. You know, all of it. Like having game. Like how we gonna get some money? Then I was really into females. Like just the whole. I was That's just kinda, no. This of uh, yeah. Yeah, me yeah. too. But <laughs> all the way, all Boy, the way, right throughout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Um, I get back at 16 um, after, you know, my time out there. I got back and, you know, I I just was been full-blown gone since then. 18, uh, I caught a aggravated robbery. And I'm skipping some, just getting to okay. uh Caught an aggravated robbery. I got 10, uh, 10 aggravated years. Um, which just means you gotta do half your time, half your time that's right? right. So then, I didn't did. that change the eighty five percent later on? Mm mm. Okay. It's just it just works out that way okay. that you end up yeah, doing about eighty five percent. Yeah, yeah. But if you got anything under, you know, pretty sure you probably gonna do it all. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. So, um, I did the seven okay. flat. Yeah, eight, that time it is. Yeah, I get out two and three almost three years, um, and that's when I get. I had caught for a lot of different sh- shit, aggravated assault, uh, coat, drug task force, hit my high, all of this type of stuff, February 5th, 2007. So I ended up getting a, a, a stacked sentence of 20 years, 10 years, and 10 years. So 40 years combined is what I had, and you got to do them. They ran them concurrent? Consecutive. No. Really? Consecutive. Consecutive. Okay. Meaning do one, finish one, make parole on one, wow. then do and another. Then do another. Wow. And then when you get through with that, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So um it was bad, but I, I to be honest, I never really accepted it as like it just never really hit me as nothing too terrible. Every I I always been one of them dudes that whatever come in it, because I'm in it. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever come in it, it come in it and you know. It's the same as when you riding around and everything looking good and you know, you got your music, you got your cars, you got all of the things that you want. So, so when it was go, your mom um, by your side during all of this? Now, I mean, my mom had addiction issues. Um, you know, she had, I think she, she, she for sure loved me. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, childhood traumas that she had, you know, as you grow, like, I, that was on me, too. You know what I mean? So um, I don't think she really knew how to just really be a parent. My father definitely didn't. God rest you both met, You met your dad? Yeah, I was with my dad. God rest my, okay. my, both of my parents. So okay. he, we got we we got a chance to get on good terms before okay, he passed. Okay, that's what I was wanting because I know yeah. the early part oh, yeah. he wasn't in your life. Oh, yeah, man. I don't, you can't hold on to that. Come I, on now. Hey, man, you, just, boy, you tell me sorry. So I, hey, we, I forgive you, man. Fuck that's man. good. That's yeah. good because yeah, there's so many people out there who hold on to things. Yeah, man. And then they wonder why their life is a mess. Exactly. Exactly. They play tug of war with it, man. Yeah, and it don't got to be like that yeah. because I at the end of the day I know that they they wasn't horrible people they just you know well they only know what they learned right yeah and in the case of my mom she had it rough her uh her mom died when she was seven there you go uh so you know all of her brothers and sisters moved in to the house with their aunt come on now and they they had already had you know kids so it you know, it's gonna be some favorites. You know, you know, it's a lot of different things well, well, that. Well, it becomes dysfunctional at that point for her. But and but my grand but my great aunt Gypsy, rest her soul, just passed last year. 
she did as best, best she, she could, could. Yeah. with her sister. Correct. You know, it's yeah. a lot. You know, yeah. and I nobody's perfect. Everybody got to do the best they can. I believe that they did the yeah, best man. they could. Yeah, man. That's yeah. The, I could. You no. don't got me. What's this no, therapy? Come, come Y'all got me going. We all do that too. too. My, I, mean, I believe that's that's what yeah, I show. My bring. grandma ain't we nobody bring, asking listen, me about. Bro, we bring it totally huh? different. That's why it's like it is. Yeah, we do. It's really like it's therapeutic. Somebody hear that they understand that they went through some because your story is so similar to mine. Yeah. And I'm setting up because my mama, mother died early on, and I never mm-hmm. met up my grandmother. And my 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 grandma, her her daughter, her mother helped us out a lot. You yeah. know, she I can remember going on the citizen bus and getting us some food with a little old pension check. You know, the little old, uh, social security check that come yeah. in that brown envelope. Yeah. And man, and I used to be waiting on her to get back with them little old, you know, <laughs> all the little treats, man, the little orange thing, look like banana, they candy. I mean, look like oranges, you know, the little slices, yeah. all that, man. Yeah. All that, they give you a little bag, boy, yeah. back at Safeway days. I know, that's right. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, don't play, nigga, grandma, I go there. But my, <laughs> I, I gotta say that my grandma, my, my my dad's, uh, my dad's mom, Goldie. She, I, the, my hustle came from her and my uncles and my my relative Pooh. But my grandma had her own cafe, uh, so mm-hmm. I really got my business side from her. Yeah, you know. But yeah, you know. Another thing that, um, when you're talking about you know this being therapy is not only to help people who or have people recognize something that they've already been through and watching them like, oh, somebody else went through it. Yeah. But there are people who are going through situations and think that I'm going through it by myself because mm-hmm. when you're going through something, you're not thinking anybody else is going through the same thing you're going through. Right. All you can focus on is your situation. For and sure. I always tell people, I said, no matter how much you think that you only have one option because when you're going through hard times, you think that I have no other option but whether mm-hmm. it be on the streets or whether to go prostitute or whether to go do something else. But it... And I've heard that so many times, but after years and you look back on your situation, you realize I had other outlets, but at yeah. that moment, I had such tunnel vision, but then hearing people on this platform, because people are stuck to YouTube all the yeah. time. All I and ever wanted to be things. was a G. Like, I wanted to be a G, so. Oh, yeah. so you yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I chose it. Like, it, I, you know, I realized, I, I probably could have did, but my uncles, my relative Pooh, my grand, like, I, I was, that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I did, and I didn't compromise my morals and principles in it. Um, so you know, because the no people regrets. who I know that are like that, they always say that I'm going to either die on the streets or that's die what in I prison. Used to say. I was that's I was like that's that. how you know we was on it like that. When yeah. you think when you feel like that, you know, like I I was into the money, like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm getting this money. Or yeah, my mom would say, "Don't uh, you gonna have to uh, you." You gonna have to get out of here, you know. Mm. Yeah, what I'm gonna have to do. And I, I left. Never, I'm never yeah, gonna stop. You know and what I'm left. saying? I'm yeah. never stopping. And uh, hey, look, man, I, I I'm gonna die out here in these streets. I, yeah. I mean, I, in my mind, I, I felt like I was comfortable with that. Right. Either 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 I die out here, or either I get a whole big bag. That was just the <laughs> yeah. way I felt about it. Yeah. And that and, and I don't know where it come from, but mm-hmm. it was something about the way the people was applauding me. It was like it was. Yeah. It was like they made me feel like I was the president of the United States. I'd never been there, but the way they was like, yeah, every city. I can every, relate. Every city, every yeah. time they see me, I had a, oh, that's him. Mm-hmm. You know, and then when I got in my situation, it was even applied down there. As soon as I came, oh, he here? Right. Yeah, it, it's like a movie, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because who you were. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah, then my, you know, partner, that even, that was, it, that's the, man, the devil something else. But my partner that, that even had been in the streets with me, he was there. Yeah. And you know, I, I didn't know you could you couldn't eat. You had to eat fast. It messed me up. I'm like, yeah. you know, this is my first day. I'm I'm like, okay. So he said, we gonna eat. when we we end up getting that little line and going in and mm-hmm. and we getting ready to eat. And yeah. uh, he started talking to me. He said, man, I got twelve ag man. You know, because he he had he did he shot the they didn't pay his unemployment. He shot people up. You know, right. And uh, I was like, okay. Uh, he's like, man, when you could get home. Now think about this. You you first get there. He said, "When you get home, man, make sure you look out for my, you know, my kids and my old lady." Right. And I'm, I, nigga, I'm still trying to get. Uh, you know, I'm lighter yeah, than him. Yeah. But he said, "This the first day, like, e, when you get back, make sure you look out." For <laughs> like, Hell, I just got here. You. Know? Yeah. So that's, that's the way it be. Cause cats be on it. They be yeah. thinking about it, and it, it be that real. Yeah. Yeah. So but, when so. did your mindset change from being in the streets to being a family man? And it took a long time. That? It took a long time. It took a long time, man. And um, what changed it? Reading, um, information, um, 
learning that my thoughts was creating my reality was like a big thing for me. I did not know that. I had no, and then as like the books that we was, that I was reading at the time, like Think and Grow Rich, you know, just the Prosperity Bible, anything by Ernest Holmes and stuff like that. And uh, just realized, because I thought about it and I was kind of seeing that it really was, I, every situation I had ever been in, I realized that I was like cooking that mood up Mm-hmm. way prior to it and so I just started to consciously like okay well I'm gonna just I'm gonna do my best to think about what I want to happen and how I want to live and what I want my life to be and then of course prayer and um, uh, the religion of Al-Islam and just being Muslim for real and um, as best as I could and that's so crazy you say yeah. that because we always say that before you speak something, you think it first and yeah. everything mm-hmm. starts in your mind. Yeah. So when you're talking about your thought process, yeah. that's what comes to thought mind. Thought process was the was the big deal. And then realizing what type of stuff leads to blessings mm-hmm. uh, and success and what and what doesn't, you know. But I wouldn't discount anything that I went through before. See, that's what I was gonna because, say. Because um that's what that's my canvas now that's what i use that's my that's what i use that's you know what prepared because my question was going to be if you had those books when you were younger mm-hmm. would you have changed at a younger age or you had to still i wasn't go gonna through. read you still out had here. To, okay because I, was I wasn't gonna read um it was about the environment and it was about like seeing my uncle and, and you know my uncle larry my uncle alfred you know seeing them looking like that you know and mm-hmm. seeing seeing my 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 cousin Pooh, um seeing him develop like that and then it was our generation of kids like the one our friend like my neighborhood like us figuring out the game mm-hmm. you know like and then excelling in it at young, young age ages. having money that people is telling you stuff what you should be doing but then they don't got no money and it's like I'm trying to attain something. Like j- here recently, um, just gave my son a car, right for graduating, right. And What's I'm just your son names Dylan. This Shout is out my Dylan oldest. with the A hey, rolling out there. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right, rolling. Okay. You know, ain't, 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 ain't just no graduating. Oh, that's what mine be. Don't, right, they, they ain't gonna look back. You know. What I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I gave him this ultimatum and this is like the in my mind this you know my wife probably she got probably get tired of me saying this but this was the big deal for me i told him that if you know i give you this car if you get your cdl okay not because i want you to be the best truck driver in the world but just because if you don't have a passion at this time Mm -hmm. this is something quick that you can do and and attain And if you want to, I know you will have a hustle that can sustain you, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And he didn't put up no resistance. He just said, yeah, right? ain't got that. Well, he's, he's, he literally just graduated a week ago or something. Uh Right. And he already got a job as well, too. But here's the thing about it, though. I wouldn't have took that deal. (laughs) (laughs) At that age. None of us, mm-hmm. not, and I, I talked to all of my partners about it. I don't think I asked D about that yet, but none of us would have took that mm-hmm. deal. That's why I feel like he's smarter than, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have took that deal. You, it's a I different generation now than what it, it was back he's then. He's smart. Like, he's, he. I asked him and he was like, um, uh, I said, so you gonna do that? You gonna do that? He like, yeah. I said, so you ain't got no, nothing you don't got nothing no fight for that you gonna just do it he said yeah, i think it's fair wow that's good what the hell no that mean, <laughs> no i mean and a lot of times just being around people that's really thinking on a different level that yeah. helps i mean you can talk to mine they gonna come with something that's gonna yeah. be intelligent you know like my daughter, what she said about why she was going to college or something. <laughs> oh, she said she on, the only reason she's going to college is for networking. Yeah, they they think different. Not even bro. to get that's a key. Yeah, just for and networking. I'm glad. But, she, she but that's, but that's on, a key. Networking. Remember that. But let me tell you, mm-hmm. when her and one of her best friends sat down and I heard the discussion, thank God I was there because so because you, you have to overhear your kids a lot of times to really know where their mindset is. Yeah. And they started looking up colleges. They're looking up how much the parents make. 
<laughs> who are sending those kids to college because yeah. they look at that so they know the type of people who are going to the college right. so they know the type of networking they, they need. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not just the college itself and what classes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's who will be attending, influential right. people who are attending. Are they in the field that I need some connects with? Hmm. That's smart. You know what early, I mean? Early. Knowing so what they're, you want to do early. So they're researching all of that, and I'm like... Yeah. Yeah, just the in-depth research is something else. You know, uh, <laughs> let me, I love my kids, man. Yeah. Um, so let's get to the music, man. Yeah. I, I, you know, like I said, the sound is great, man. Yeah. I, I, I mean... I get. I tell people. I'm sending it to people. Mm -hmm. I'm taking your YouTube and forwarding it, or, yeah. or telling my brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, the song uh, "Prayers for Increase." Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that yeah. song right there. That, is that the like, one of the latest ones? Uh, yeah. Yesterday, I actually, I'm just coming from Houston last night. We just shot a video in Houston last night. Uh, got home at three. Step. Whoop. We got up. We headed yeah, right here. You know. What I mean? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, press for increase. I think that was one of the the last ones. Say, uh, man, the thing jamming, man. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna what, lie, man. So Mr. What, Lee, what, man. What, what, yeah, what inspired, what, what, what inspired that? Um, it's just as with everything, as far as my music goes, it is just to like to basically put people in the mind frame of what it is, what it takes to be in this position to actually, you know, to make a living in music to be after having been gone like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, just everything. Like, um, for me, it's just pulling back the veil and showing that, like, uh, Kiki just told me the other day, like, if whatever, when you want this to even pray for this, to be in this game and to be moving in this game, you got to take everything that come with it. Okay. And it, it carries a lot of uh, stuff with it that you got to be mentally prepared to be able to, persevere mm -hmm. through you know a lot of people they really in you know, i'm i'm not gonna say but it's just that this game right here it just really exposes so like who your real friends there's a hook on there it sounds like a singing mm -hmm. uh who is that i don't know that listen man it's a sample there i gotta say this as as lee when i'll ask him but uh the best man yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. sounds, I mean, the, the mix and master and all that stuff is all man, incredible. Listen, um, man, the best. When did the, you start rapping? Thank you. How old thank were you? you? Um, 19. 19. Um, I mean, probably. Wasn't you, wasn't you locked up then? Yes, thank you. Like, so you, you know, started in prison? I started Be being on the serious. Table. Yes, with, um, yeah, with, yeah. with, hit with Ryrie, man. I gotta <laughs> say, I gotta, I had a, first of all, I ended up going to this unit. First of all, I always thought I was the best rapper even when I didn't have nothing. So remember that. You really? Know? Every, yeah, I hear that all the time. I don't know. Like, no, 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 I no. I, I, hear that. I just checked some of that here lately. Yeah, just I about. thought I was the best. Everybody, and everybody coming in out here there saying told they you were the yeah. best. Huh? And everybody no, in there hey, told no. you no. were the best. Hey, no, ain't nobody no, told you I that. just had the attitude. Attitude. Right. Okay. But um, being in there, it was a lot of people on that unit where I was at right then that were so very talented and the the most the you know people got time they got time to really get good at it you know that's what, like the thing that i be telling people out here like the craft and actually perfecting your craft like i really put the time in over there and the person who was the best there who really helped me and be with me every only reason he ain't here right now because he was in with houston with me last night and uh he's in galveston today but other than that he from dallas so he would be here you know Taught me, taught J Dog, you know what I mean? Like I was gonna ask you about J Dog. Did mm -hmm. J Dog come on the unit and you J Dog was on he was on Beto, but that's where Ra Reed ended up. And it's a it's a story online that like illustrates like the power of Ra Reed in in uh in that's prison. The, that's the Yeah. He yeah. from out here, he from Oak Cliff. Okay. He did he had a uh, eighteen year sentence. Now yeah, I forgot how much time he had, but he did like a long time in there. So but, he worked with y'all in there? Um, we wrote songs together okay, when I that was. Okay, helped. That's the chemistry, huh? It helped me to learn rap lessons about cadence and presence and what I could do in a song that would make me stand out, like bar structure and uh, deviating a pattern in rhyme. And if you deviate like a a pattern that's like Mary had a little lamb, you know, fleece was white as snow, da da da. You, if there's one line in that that deviates totally from that, 
pattern that everybody's gonna remember that line. That was like lessons and stuff that I was learning. Um, m melodies. Did you, you learn know, that being off free. of computer? Or? No, no, I learned no. it. I learned it by dealing with him, you see, yeah. and then with just him. you know, as I as I went on with that's it. That's a lot of information, man. That's just that's that was like that first week. But they got us. a lot of time, so yeah, they, yeah, they, they can they can definitely <laughs> like, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we just kept going, but then you still have to draw from a place. Um, so moving from where I was at. And another thing is classifications. I just, you gotta talk about, you know, as far as TDC goes, being incarcerated in Texas, classifications. I'm somebody that commits, has been known to commit crimes with pistols, you know, shooting and what have you, you know. I'm always in prison around people like that. They gonna classify you with, with people like people. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. aggravated people, aggravated yeah. youngsters. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with, the worst of the worst in the state of Texas, so to speak. These are my friends. Gladiator units. I am the person From, that's at the gladiator yeah, units yeah, at yeah, all yeah. times. So this is what I'm trying to say. Everybody that I'm around to this day is like, you know, I got D with me. Everywhere I go in the state of Texas, I got people around me that that's where our bond was solidified at. Yeah. I just, I sometimes I say it and I be trying to pick my words or whatever, yeah. but it's, it's, it's just a different type of brotherhood. Mm -hmm. It's a different type of everything when you was locked up with somebody and they know you about whatever and you know they about what, whatever. like that thing right there. Yeah. So, you know, basically what the devil meant for bad, it ended up being good God and that's my- good. But yeah. the thing also, when you're going through that a lot of times, I've always been amazed at people when they say, man, you changed. But then, nigga, I got older. Yeah. Hell, I'm, I'm old. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? When right. I left, when, when I left, I was uh, this age. I come back, here we go, six years later, or five or four, or three, mm -hmm. whatever. You, you, and I had this time to, str to yeah. study. I used it wisely. Yes. So I'm going to be different anyway yeah. you look at it. Right. But we, I, we, I, some people made me. I made me worse, and then I got better. It's up to you. I always tell right. people that the change happens right there. Yeah, it don't. You, if somebody tell me, "Oh yeah, man, he, you know, I'm a change. I'm gonna stop this when I do when this and do that." Out. Yeah, I told them kids at the juvenile yeah, detention juvenile. center, That's "You got to stop said. now. You got to change where you at. Yeah, respect people where you at. For Whoever sure. around, you know." Because I, I thought I was then, very aggressive right? until I met him. Yeah, I had to take the aggression up. You know, oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. He was worse. More aggr really? Yeah, than me. And you know <laughs> where I'm from. I was aggressive. He was on six Another. notches higher. Wow. Do it seem like, like I had to go up? I didn't mean to cut you off, but yeah. does it seem like? Because to me, it was like you meet your match. Yeah. Like it, it's like you meet your match in this place where you're in. I met a lot of my match. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's like okay, then okay, and you quiet, you know, of course. But mm -hmm. you see this, and you're like okay. No, we not quiet. That's no, what I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. I'm just saying for you don't, you don't, you don't just, you don't just. I mean, you know, the dude that yeah, you know, you got this certain people that you deal with, right? Yeah. But it's a certain energy. You don't even have to talk to a person where you know already y'all not vibing correctly. Mm -hmm. You know, all this stuff be going on because you sitting in these, you know, different situations. Situations. It's like it's a different world. I always see for it. sure. It's not the same as out. In the no, it's world. not. It's own world. I yeah. would think it's definitely its <laughs> own world. Right. I yeah. Would think that. <laughs> yeah. Because I hear all the stories about what happened, and they said that I know some people who come out and purposely commit a crime to go back in because they cannot reform to this society. Exactly. They prefer inside more than they do outside. I met a cat when people wow. go into the walls yeah. unit. Um, <laughs> I said, man. Uh, did you? Uh, what did you? I said you, you. You got out. He was telling me a story. Now this is why we 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 locked up. And I'm like, you got out. He was like, yeah. I said, man, well, how long was you out? Yeah. He said, I don't even want to tell you, my nigga. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I said, how long did you? He said, man, they called me in, in, in Huntsville, man. I never made it home. Damn. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, he said he tried to do something with the little cash they gave him, and and he ended up right back. Wow. Never made it home. 
Now that's a new one. I'm, I didn't. I didn't seen the week. I didn't seen the thirty no, days. No, I ain't no, seen I never, the. Never made soon it as home. you got the bread, you went. Never, and, and never got made it, it home. Right? Didn't yeah, even make it no. to the halfway house. Never then. made it home. Listen, man, I was laughing so hard because I'm throwing. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, nigga, you ain't making it home. Yeah. You know? I'm already. You know, it's just yeah. the way things be. I want to get back to the music, man. Yeah. Uh, first day out. What's first that all out. about? Um. Yeah, man. First day out. Um. Actually, my best friend Saeed told me to when I was in there that I needed to write a first day out song. Yeah. And uh dope. Yeah, like he don't give me no if no like when he say something it's hot. It's, it's, it's just some I you know because he just living his life, you know what I'm saying? So he, I, you know you need a first day right? first day out. <laughs> and you tell him like giving me artistic direct like oh, mm. what? Like, everybody do a first day out song. You know, yeah, I think you just should do it. Yeah. Like yeah. that, I'm, you know by being him and like all right you know what i'm saying yeah. i'm gonna go ahead and do it and it ended up being like one Some of the ones for me yeah. right you know yeah. but uh, of course that track right there was done by um uh my producer kane i was gonna ask you about how you and mr lee linked up oh that's great like um i've been out is it's important to know after being doing 12 years the first time so you gotta think i've been locked up half my life really of course i was only out for yeah. three years or close to three years so I get out um, March 25th, 2019, and um, within one month, I put out my first album. Um, within within 90 days, I put out my first album. Um, by the time it was, and you know, I gotta learn this business. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try to, because I need to make money out of yeah, this. And yeah. there's so many people, like, it was so, it's so much cap and bullshit Come going on. on. I already See, know. that's what I was wondering. Bro, I can't figure, I couldn't figure it out. It they was were like, confusing damn. you. Yeah, because they telling me to basically to put the music out for free is what they telling me. Yeah. So I'm saying like, damn, but the music is costing me this. Yeah. To make. Yeah, it's not. It's, it, it, that that don't make sense because you it's sowing the cheap. seed. And it, it don't seem to me like it's supposed to come back. It wasn't no business <laughs> in what they was doing. So, but I was still selling uh, CDs, flash drives, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And uh, um. On my second album, since I got home, when you know, Crowns Two, the second Crown. Yeah, when did that two. come out? That came. I don't know when it. Came. You got to. Then it makes me. It's twenty seven. This is this is my this is my twenty seventh month out. Okay. Right now, right. Um, Friday next Friday will be my eleventh um, album since I've been home. Mm. So it's eleven albums in twenty seven months. I right. I don't forgot when Crowns Two came out. So but, when um, you were doing music inside compared to when you came out and started doing your music, how different was that compared to, you know, for you to adjust? Um, in there, it's, well, it's not much of it. It's still, it's an adjustment, but in there, my goal was to be the best. So it was battling. It was, um, you know, going, Talim services down there was an opportunity for people to um, basically network. For sure, network. The pri <laughs> whole prison is network. Whole prison is network. But um, a chance to display your talents okay. in front of the a massive crowd, right from everywhere. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Shout out, uh, Smooty. Mm -hmm. Smooty went to college, and he's got all of his college friends that he then gave his music to, and they know about him, and Correct. it spreads the word. Well, me, by being in prison like that and being like on this type of time, the same type of time I'm on right now, that's why I, that's my network. Okay. So people that's, that's out, if they was, you know, if they was locked up or they done heard about me from being locked up, like I know who you, that, that is. That's, I was in there perfecting my craft for years, like years with, um, I, and I was receiving new information just for years. So, so when you came out, so when I came out, the only thing that I really needed to understand was the business, because I know can't nobody beat me rapping. I know that, you know, I know, I know, I know that I'm the best rapper. And to well, go wait a minute, no, wait a minute, now that's where I get involved. at. you think you're the best? I know I'm the best rapper, and I know I'm the best rapper in the world. Yeah. I'm, I'm for in sure. The world. I'm for in sure that I'm the, the best. World, I'm the best rapper in the United States for sure. In the I don't, United States that I know of. Yeah, I've told him that. 
Oh, okay. It's so you, 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 this you, is a known. You, so you lyrically think you, you vibe with Kendrick Lamar is not a problem. There's Drake, no. all of that. No, no, Drake, I don't know. No, because he, this guy lyrical. Drake. No, yeah. Drake is the smartest businessman right. slash know how to get on people records and make a hit. Yeah. That's what Drake do. I'm talking about lyrically, you going to get on this record with, uh, uh, yeah, Kendrick. That's who they try to say it can flip and blah 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 blah. No, la 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 la. You no. feel like you can you can deal with that? Nobody can beat me rapping. I've been tried and tested. Like I, I, nobody can. Rapping is the bit the thing I do the very best in life. It's the best skill that I my have. Brother it's the told one me, that my I brother put the told most to. He, he told me you could be you on that level. I, if you get in that room, it's a problem. This is something that we already and that's, know. And I'm that's why Mr. Lee re, <laughs> that's why Mr. Lee reached out to me. Mr. Lee, uh, shout out Lee, Leroy, Gunther, Abner. You know, he, he So he come he come reach out to you. He found you. The best producer in the game or in the top three in, in hip hop history. Yeah. Yeah, he reached out to me. Yes. How long after you being out did he actually come get you? Me and Lee been messing around now for over a year and so we got me and him got 10 albums together what we got this out we double digits albums just me and him i got he he got two I, i'm gonna turn in another one next week we work at a feverish pace How do he's the best i'm so the best fast. we love what we do we love know, music so y'all just go i love music you you have what you, the process you had a studio well in I, austin Yes, I record in the studio in Austin, but I, I I don't like the confines of writing in the studio. I like to be able give me all of the I got a I got a phone full of leech, like the the best, the best, the best. I got a phone full of the best, man. Wow. And um, you know, I write to it as things occur, whatever my vibe is. When it get to 14, 15, I'm always in an album mode, so it's this feel, this feel, this feel, this feel, this feel. Once that album arc is complete, I record it all in one day. I go to the studio uh, four hours, three, three, four hours at the most, um, record the whole album, send it to him. He mix and master, send it back to me. I send out for the um, USB drives and I sell them. That's yeah, very I'm, important. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there yeah. because I wanted to. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Uh, me and you talked and uh, off offline on mm -hmm. the phone, and, and 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 you you put it to me real, you know, real real slick, like like, hey man, these guys, you know, what what, what where how are they making money? So this has been my question, right? Thank you. I've been dealing with this ever since you you're educated not, me on it. You're not I mean, gonna I'm be being able real, to keep asking and I'm, that. Oh, I'm gonna ask them else. Uh, that, that's why I'm free. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, well, it's, I mean, it's I'm a, gonna it's, ask them because at the end of the day, it's a question that needs to come to everybody to where we can get creative control over the music again, to where they can understand if you ain't making no dollars, it don't make no sense. I'm being real. If they don't do it, then it's going to 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 come on this platform. It, it's not going to look right. I need to know. There is an industry that preys on people who want to be in music. I get it. It's a whole thing. You want to pay to go anywhere you want to go? You want to be on this show? Who's coming down here next week or whatever? You know, money man, or whoever's going to be here. You want to be on the show? You want to get your pay this much? You want to be on the radio? Pay this much. You know what you need to do? You need to get you some digital marketing. Pay this. Like you, there's all of these different outlets for artists to pay. And then the illusion. Thank you, babe. I just wanted, I didn't want everything. But um, the illusion of what it looks like to be a rapper got all of these kids and shit confused. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's got them thinking that they need to act out or they need to do shit that could potentially get them killed. They looking at people uh, behaving ways and then they thinking that that's what they got to do too. Um, Music for sure is about your life and the truth that you have and they are acting. But in the process of you acting, this is why I said that the probably the most important thing was me learning about my thoughts and my thinking process. Right. You got these kids coming in and, or these people, I ain't gonna say kids, people is coming into, in, into hip hop and saying shit that they are not. 
and you're saying it in a way and not like ignorant to the power of your voice and your mind and you making it happen and you putting yourself in a position where you got to you going to have to kill or get killed you know what i'm saying and the higher you get up or the more you start to manifest that type of shit in music it just makes you more and more powerful to make things happen quicker so you know it's not a surprise to me that some of the dudes that i have seen um after getting deals when everybody be like damn he dumb he how did he the man is getting powerful in his ability to manifest or female and as it keeps going and going and going and you steady talking about killing whoever and you know this and that and then you catch the case the inevitable mm -hmm. case it happens it happens all the time there's a way to talk about it um that's not ignorant that won't yeah. that won't conjure up the shit on you mm -hmm. i'm reflecting i'm on the mic reflecting in the illest way possible i'm just remembering i'm talking about things that i want to talk about you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm showing from a real life experience it's not a it's not difficult for me to do this shit because i perfected the craft they not they haven't really perfected the craft they just speaking bullshit into existence a lot of people not everybody a lot of people are speaking bullshit into existence they don't have a business model for what it is that they trying to do and they just really just and they want things a lot of people want things that they do not deserve and they know they don't deserve it you want all of this recognition you want all of this acknowledgement but you haven't done the work you don't even got five songs you don't got ten songs I, we've seen that huh yeah mm -hmm. and another thing about hip-hop as an independent if if you put something out today and you don't put nothing out for a month or two months you don't remain where you was at when you put that out. You're going backwards. You got to work. It's like a treadmill. Dude, I had. You got to work to I go had, forward. I had uh, Ro on here the other night and ended up calling. Tri That's going to come out next week. Mm -hmm. Trill Talk, No Pill Talk. And, and Ro and him was going back and forth about that list. Shout out, my and, 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 and And it was funny because they was really, really. Ro was like, you know, I, my son came out. What is hard living, and you know already it was good, and it was, and you should have put me on that list. And he was, he was like, but you haven't been doing nothing lately. And yeah. He was like, yeah, but that's still the hardest song down there. But you were just, that's what you were just expressing. But I, I gotta keep, say, to Ro, keep, Ro, Ro, Ro wants it. He, he it. really, he wants it. I get it. it. But Trill Talk was saying he hadn't put, he hadn't put nothing out He's here not recently. Working. That was, and this was before he just put down this other one. Uh, the one he got a new one that he he working on now. Trill is my I got to I got to say this so people know. Trill is my dude. Right? Oh yeah, he was here day before yesterday. We had yeah. a good time too. He, that's my I, dude. You know, I've been knowing him ever since he was yeah, yeah all his life. That's, so that's my dude. But the thing you got to understand is the 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 thing the work ethic and pr to putting that music out like you doing and the volume that you are putting it out that has to be respected and recognized because a lot of guys it, 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 look, man, you've been through a lot, bro. Mm -hmm. You got something to say, right. and you've mastered your craft. Yeah, and it's, and, and, and can't nobody. I I agree with you. You know, I would be really nervous if I was putting my money up against you rapping against somebody I, that I, I thought was the to. best in the world. Yes. you know what I mean. Uh, and, and whatever, because I know I didn't listen to you. I'm not yeah. trying to. I'm just being mm -hmm. real. I like what you do, yeah. and, and so, y'all need to check him out, man. Ld three hundred is yeah. the one. He the truth, Appreciate man. You, he really man. speaking truth. I you mean, know. You know. Um, I I had a guy on here last, yesterday, day before yesterday. PGF Shaw from Atlanta. He came okay. in. You gotta check him out, man. Okay. Nice with it, bro. Yeah. Like, like speaking the truth too, and came through from the same background. And and it's people like you guys who really speak about what's going on, mm -hmm. your life. It's or, into or, positivity. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. PGF stand for putting God first. And Damn. yeah, okay. yeah, he own it, man. Yeah. And and it's like when you when you see this, I feel good about the music. It's going back to where a place where it could bring somebody out of a situation, man. Yeah. It, it, if it, even if it's not for the just to see somebody like doing something and looking like they progressing in it yeah but as far as like in life in general i just artists man i my mind just be like like for artists that's how i know that one day i'm gonna really like LD. i'm gonna start signing artists and shit. Make it, no, no, let me ask LD this man no. yeah yeah go on and ask him I'm, i got something real <laughs> heavy on my mind the name ali 300 came yeah. from and who gave it to you Okay, Al D. I always been. My name is Aldarian. You know, 
Uh, I like that name. That's it. Yeah, that's Al Darian. Name. That's my name, man. Al Darian David. Easy to look up. That's why I say everybody know my name anyway. I can't even be, you know, Al Darian David. That's the, they know that's my name. I'm from 300 block. I'm from David Street, Longview, Texas, 300 block. Wow. So I had like, three hundred, just like that, yeah. yeah. And, I had, and the next question I had, whoa, go is, ahead. <laughs> okay, so you're married right now, yes. And I see you hustling real hard, mm -hmm. always, you know, doing your craft. How do you balance both life? Um, Work life balance. She hit you with it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, first of all, you know, my my wife is definitely very understanding of like you know what I'm doing, but we're around each other a lot. Um, so you take her to the studios with you? No, uh, but I. When you're working music, that's a like a vibe, and in my case, it's really uh, energy that the only way I could describe it to somebody else is violent. Okay. Um, not to say that you're about to do violent, but it is an energy of violence and aggression. This. That's what I am. Like, even when I'm relaxed, the feeling of what I'm doing is like, you know, mm -hmm. so I don't really, if I'm writing or if I'm about to record or, or anything like that, her energy mellows me. So I like, like, I can come away from a situation and when I'm around her, I can mellow. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. she makes, it's an automatic mellow. And some, like, that's another thing, like, about videos and whatnot. Anything got to do something with rap, I want my energy ill and er, uh, you know. Um, so, again, I'm with her the majority of the time. Anything I'm about to do with rap, I really don't be wanting her around because it's, I feel like it's like Floyd. I feel like I'm going to fight. I feel like, yeah, so you know. she doesn't come to any of your performances. She comes yeah. some. Yeah. If, it's, if, it's, if it's grand enough to where she gonna be like in dresses and stuff like that, I be wanting her around. If it's hood and stuff like that, I don't want her to come. Like, I, I won Lyricists of the Year in Houston. You know, you want to get dressed up and balled up? Yes, I want her around for that. Mm -hmm. I'm finna call Lil D and Rari and, and 18 niggas and all of that shit. I don't want you around. I'm right. finna be Which around a bunch of dudes with the same mentality, mentality as mine. Yes, and, and we know every, whatever, if it go file or whatever we're gonna be moving as a, you know what i mean i want when i'm with my dudes on some sh rap shit i want to be on net especially like if there's anybody from my hood just any anybody that's around me and we moving on some rap shit i'm with people that understand consequences life and death like all of these types of things my wife bring about a a higher energy, like a higher, you know what I mean? I and love sometimes that communication. I, don't want, I love yeah. that vibe yeah. that y'all have yeah. together. Let oh, yeah. See Let me ask yeah. you, man. Uh, you know, you, you've you been in this music ever since you came home. You you got the algorithm down packed. How many? How many algorithm? Yeah, algorithm. Okay. Meaning you you uh, you understand how to be have creative control over what you're doing, mm -hmm. make dollars out of it, yeah. live off of it, yeah. and that's where I want to see our people go. I told you this. I mean, I'm I'm I, I'm not gonna let up off of that. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it gotta happen yeah. because at the end of the day. You you got a blueprint, okay? Mm -hmm. These the, the younger people they got to be able to look at you and be able to understand. And you it take a, I yeah. can tell you that you can't get it by not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's the part where it's really it, it, it's like the work ethic. People think because they get on the internet, views being fake. You mean you talked about that? Yeah. All type of stuff. I mean, I'm looking at your views. Matter of fact. Uh, I wonder if this is real views. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you if I'm a, if I'm gonna put like, the sauce it's on. It's gonna be way more than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put the sauce on because I'm gonna tell you it don't cost nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, let me tell you, you know. that if if you wanted a uh, hundred thousand views, I think that's a hundred dollars. Really? Yeah, you want four hundred thousand, but the reality and and it's not necessarily a bad thing that people are buying views because. All of these artists are buying views, or their labels are buying views because they want them to be perceived a certain way. If you if you are, you know, artist A, and you perceived as the biggest artist in the world, you got to look at the times that these um, videos, if it's on YouTube, look at the time that they drop. Typically, videos, but before you're aware of them. They have been out for four hours, five hours. Mm -hmm. um, a video can exist in a private link on YouTube. Wow. 
So while uh, I mean it, it's common, anybody right. Right. anybody yeah. with a YouTube channel can have a video on private. So if you are and to share the link and yeah. everybody who have the link can and see we're it. gonna boost it up right before we put it behind before the scenes put it and put comments on it behind the scenes and then we're gonna release it. And if you're looking at this artist, that the, makes sense. The biggest artist in the world, or some of the biggest artists that you think are the biggest artists in the world, then um, it's not gonna ring no alarm to you that it's only been out 46 minutes, six six minutes and something, or six hours and something, and, and it so says 786,000 views. Mm -hmm. And you're like, damn, who all know this? And remembering what a view is as well, that um, mm -hmm. uh, 30 seconds mm -hmm. of a watched video is supposedly what counts as a view. Mm -hmm. You gotta ask yourself the question of, how many videos do we watch over and over again? I watch videos all the time. I may I may watch a video, a music video. I may watch it twice. I'm not going to watch a video five times, you know, or nothing like that. So mm -hmm. these are just things you got to remember. See, that's the thing that I always um, would wonder about because whenever I watch, like me, before we started a podcast and I'm mm -hmm. on YouTube, I'm always a DIY person. That's mm -hmm. what I do. Everybody go on YouTube to learn how to do something. Right. But whenever you're doing it, you fast forward, fast forward, go to the part that you want to know, stop it, learn how to do it. But someone told me that hurts your um, your channel when people fast forward through it, your view time, compared to actually watching the entire thing. I don't know for long uh, form videos. But it could even be short because. Well, this is what I'm asking because mm -hmm. I, I definitely know that watch hours are being tracked. Right. And that's how you get paid. Exactly. So you want to have long form that people stay engaged in to long. But I, what was always the big mystery, which shouldn't be a big mystery, is how exactly. How long? De yeah, right. does a people beauty. Have short, but you know, people have short attention span. Yeah, but yeah. people don't like to sit down and watch something for too nah, long. Nah, if it's good, if it's no, good, no, 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 no. we'll watch it. Everything you watch goes, movies for sure. And then there's podcasts that 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 are two hour, three hour. You yeah. know, I don't watch Joe, Joe, uh, Joe Rogan and all those guys. Those but guys the, are hundred million dollars Spotify people. Because even like look at Breakfast Club. Breakfast mm -hmm. Club, they have theirs for like an hour. And when I watch it, I might watch a little part of this part mm -hmm. and I'll fast forward and see what else they're talking me. about. I watch the whole and, thing. Or if really? I, no, if I let the whole thing go, I'm moving around. So I'm not really just sitting down here watching the whole Guess thing. Guess what I'm doing on a Breakfast Club or anything else? I'm only watching that they're going to put a clip on. If there's an artist or somebody on there that I want to see, I'm not going to watch the long form. They know they got to make a, a clip, a, a block right. for that. If it's just a, a a little clip that's got this little 40 or 35 minute interview mm -hmm. session on there, I may watch that. I'm not about to watch the whole Breakfast Club. You know right. what I mean? And I don't it's called either. If I like it, if it's something I want to hear, I've been interested in, I'll watch it. But if I don't, I won't. I pick certain mm -hmm. ones. It's, it's what make me tick. I, mm -hmm. I might not like this one, but if I rock with this dude, like, okay, say it's uh, Tip. I've been knowing this dude since 08 and I've been hearing about different things going on with him and he come on I'm like, oh, look, let's see what's going on. Yeah, with this I may watch and it I'll watch the thing, you know what I'm saying? Or but I ain't watching now, like every... Oh, not every episode. And I still yeah. don't watch a whole thing and yeah. that's why a lot of times on our platform we talk about so many different things because mm -hmm. you have so many different type of people out there. Somebody might not want to just watch this strictly for the rapping, right. but they like to hear your story, your yeah. backstory, you know, mm -hmm. how you overcame it and where you are today yeah. compared to so there's so many different reasons people watch this I, show. That's another for. thing. I feel like rappers need to be getting, like, I think rappers are not um, really honest about what they're doing that's allowing them to have sustained success. I will tell you that the people that I know that in this industry that got sustained success, they married or been in long, committed relationships. Mm. Long, long. Like Why is that so? Because having that, that proper foundation for your own, I mean, it's what God said. said. why, right? Y yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a good why. Also, to go along with the fact that it's a good why, it's like the proper foundation. Some people are trying things and they not working and they don't know why it's not working. And it's just because you just standing on some wrong shit. Your foundation mm -hmm, is just mm -hmm, fucked up. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you don't even know it. So you just kind of, and you believing the rap too much. 
not thinking that or not understanding that it's entertainment primarily. I'm glad you said that because I, 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 that brings me back to something I was thinking when you cut me off or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. So, how, uh, you know, but it's all good though. I know you love me. I ain't tripping on it. But I'm just going to go on and uh, try to figure out what I was trying to figure out back then. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, just gave, I just gave you some extra time. I was trying to just, just, uh, just something. Do you feel like the rap is in a place where it can, I, I mean, it's driving our children mentally. Yeah. Um, um, the things they say, the guns they display online, all this stuff. Yeah. Um, do you think, do your music contribute to that? Um, I think sometimes people would probably say that, but I think rap is huge, man. Yeah. Rap is huge. And, and I when, say that because, you know, movies and stuff come out. You got gunslingers and all kinds yeah. of stuff. So there's a, a place where you can put it intelli te intelligently in the right position. Yeah. But there are some guys out there who, who, and that don't have nothing to do with you, really. Uh, you yeah, because you do have to take some responsibility for what it yeah. is you put. But I want to, my, my, the reason I do it, uh, along with those things of me, um, having my like my life intertwined in it and using and picking from those things to create music or whatnot. Um, I do it to be the best, to make the best music. Like each one of my albums are like time capsules. They 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 represent a complete idea. There's going to be. I got songs about. Marriage. I got songs about, you know, gangster shit or whatever, you know. I'm being true to what the track, you know, elicits from me. Like it's it's an experience. It's a whole so it's I wouldn't tell a person like, okay, you just get my shit and then but I I, I ask people, I say, um, what do you get from my and that's what they say. They just say the truth. Like it's just the truth. It's like you saying the truth and it feels so even if I talk crazy and just go, ah, you know, rah, rah, rah. It's the same as like, um, I seen 50 Cent say this, that when he made Get Rich or Die Trying, it was, um, you know, like people trying to kill him. <laughs> you know, these people are trying to kill me and I'm trying to live my life, you know, and it's a lot of stuff going on. And he said he put all of that intense energy from what was going on at the time only to hear later from people that had graduated college, like, hey man, that got me through college, mm. yeah. or I work yeah. out to your yeah. yeah. get yeah. rich or die trying. Yeah. So it's about what we use the music for. for. Like